Hello, Pastor Chris here with a short devotional and greeting from Emmanuel Church. Uh, we are now in what the church calls Easter Tide, eight weeks of celebrating that Jesus is alive. And our scripture readings as we gather as a community are focused on Jesus meeting with his disciples uh, in different times and different places over 40 days. And what we notice uh, as, we, as we encounter these texts is that Jesus is, is showing up with his people uh, to encourage their hearts, to bless them, uh, to let them know that, that he is alive and, and with them as he sends them into ministry. And so our scripture reading uh, this day is from Luke chapter 24 uh, on the road to Emmaus beginning verse 28. It reads, As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead, he being Jesus, walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. It seems to me that as Jesus is meeting with his disciples, as they are, all of them each in their own way, struggling with the fact of, of his death, and hoping beyond hope uh, that the story wasn't over. Jesus met with them to help them recognize him. And it's interesting that it was in the breaking of the bread, as Jesus breaks the bread and gives it to them, their eyes are opened and they recognize Jesus. And it got me thinking a little bit about why is it through the bread that they recognized Jesus? Why is it that Jesus gave us a meal to remember him by? Um, and why did he choose such a common element, something that is all over, everywhere, bread? And perhaps it is that he wants us to to recognize him all over and everywhere. So not only when we are meeting together in the church, not only when I as a pastor break the bread in communion, but also as you gather in your home and you break bread as a family or even with yourself, as you break bread that Jesus wants us to know him uh, through this way, to know that he is providing for us, that he is giving us of his very presence and we partake of his grace and his goodness with every breath that we take. Jesus gave us the common bread, I think, so that we could learn to recognize him all places. And even in our own brokenness, as we serve one another, as we are vulnerable with each other, we experience Jesus. We experience his very presence through service, through connection with one another. I think the good news of, of Eastertide is that Jesus is alive, that in and through his spirit, he is revealing himself to us in the everyday ordinary. The invitation is for us to see Jesus, to experience Jesus, to uh, invite him to stay with us. As the disciples said, come stay with us. This is what Jesus wants to do. He wants to make himself known to us. In Revelation uh, chapter 3, verse 20, 
Jesus says this to the church. He says, listen, I am standing at the door, knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into you and eat with you and you with me. The risen one, Jesus Christ, is present to us, knocking on the doors of our homes, knocking on the doors of our hearts, saying, here I am, invite me to come in, and I will eat with you and you with me, and you will know my presence. And so this day and this week, may Jesus open the eyes of our hearts to see him, to recognize him, and his goodness uh, each day of our lives. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank you for these stories that we encounter in the Gospels of you meeting with your people. And in each story, you are there before they recognize you, and you help them to see you. And God, we are your people, and we're longing to see you. We're longing to know your presence. And so we, we invite you into our hearts, into our lives, uh, that you may uh, strengthen us and encourage us and, and give us what we need today to love you and to serve you in this world. We give you thanks and we give you praise our risen Lord. Amen.